What's up, AD? It's Kevin Love. I'm here in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm really excited to show you guys my wellness room. Let's go check it out. I've been in this house since my second year in Cleveland. I'm, I'm on year six now, uh, obviously on hiatus uh, throughout COVID-19, but you know, really trying to utilize this space as much as possible. The idea around it was to have something that was going to supplement uh, everything that I do out on the basketball court and keep me feeling young. This is my 12th year in the league. So I think there's things that you have to figure out becoming a vet. I mean, it's not like you can just roll out the ball and play anymore. This room, as far as recovery, is very paramount in everything that I do. All right, so this is my first modality here in my Juve Red Light. It helps promote really great sleep and it has this, uh, you know, like a heating factor to it as well that really gets the body moving in the morning, gets the joints lubricated. It's really, really user-friendly, easy to use as you can see here. It's great for inflammation. It's something I do when I wake up in the morning or after a long flight. For the sake of this video, I'll turn it off. So the next piece of equipment I want to go to is the hyperbaric chamber. This is something that I really use a lot during the playoffs or after long road trips because we are moving across different time zones. We're super sleep deprived. Even in, in quarantine now, I, I found myself pretty stressed out. I get worked up over the unknown. So for me, it's really trying to make sure that I'm catching up on my sleep, whether we're at home, whether we're on the road, just continuing to you know, pay it forward to our bodies and try to stretch our careers out as much as possible. Keeps my inflammation down, uh, gets my red blood cell count up. This brand of, of hyperbaric chamber is actually sold to fit two people at a time, but being 6'9", it's a big enough footprint to accommodate me, but I've actually tried to be in there with Kate and it just, there's not enough space to work for both of us. All right, so as you can see behind me, we're moving on to the, the infrared sauna. This is actually really good for cell regeneration. An infrared sauna also is, is, you know, to that point, really, really good for skin and for energy levels. It really picks you up. That's why coming home from practice, I want to make sure that I'm getting all those benefits and it's picking me up for the rest of the day. You know, this is something that we really utilize, especially with the seasons here. It's not like we're living in LA, we're not living in Miami. It's very seasonal and it gets pretty cold here during the winter. So it's something really nice to use when you know the temperatures get in that freezing level. All right, so the next piece of equipment we have here is the wave bed. And there's my puppy Vestry right there. She's using it right now. And it, it helps promote sleep. You know, it has different sounds and different vibrations that when you sit down on it, you put headphones on, and then if I can move my puppy here, you can see that actually it has a wave component to it. So when you sit on it, it's actually allowing you to, to settle in and those vibrations are promoting, you know, really, really healthy sleep. So there's a couple different variations on here. It has touch, like a little touch up. It has gentle, deep. That's typically the one that I use because uh, I lack a lot of deep sleep. And then there's energy as well. Vestry is looking like she needs a little bit of that energy right now. The wave bed also acts as a massage table as well. So I'll typically jump on there. She also uh, you know, pretty much just lays on top of me when I'm either getting a massage or I'm on the wave bed. So she has it pretty good. You know, even for dogs too. I mean, it's there's science saying that you, you live longer. You know, if you have a dog, you know, it promotes getting outside. And I'm incredibly grateful that, not that I was hurt, but that we had the time to then take advantage of, you know, training a dog and, you know, kind of have her grow as, as, you know, part of our extended family. And this is all she wants to do. She's a Velcro dog. I don't think she'll ever get out of that stage. It's every day we kind of laugh at how she's close to us or on top of us, no matter what. I use this vibrations from this power plate right here, especially on my lower half. Like I mentioned, my, my feet, I hold a lot of my stress in my feet and we're pounding so much out there on the floor, especially playing heavy minutes. I play 30 plus a night. So the next piece of equipment here looks like a giant bubble, but it's the uh, Woff Max. It's something that super promotes muscle relaxation. It's actually what I tend to meditate on. So I'll use Headspace, I'll put my phone or my headphones on, you know, maybe even an eye mask, and I'll, I'll settle into that with a weighted blanket and just go through my breathing exercises. You know, I could really actually get used to right now. And there's the puppy, she's checking it out. Girl. 
I was one of those people that got into meditation super late. I had kind of preconceived notions about it or made assumptions, but um, it was something that I just had an open mind for after I started doing, you know, therapy, started peeling back layers of, of what I had been feeling. I believe meditation has a great, great way of making you look inward and has a great way of just having you being mindful and, and stay in the present. If 2020 has taught me anything, especially in the NBA, you know, with the passing of David Stern, with the passing of Kobe, and then the game just being taken away from us, it's just to, to stay in the present. The mental health aspect has been something that's in, incredibly important to me. And obviously I've talked about at length and will continue to, to speak about, but I think more and more players, athletes in, in general are starting to open up and, you know, speak about uh, the idea of, of, you know, taking care of the mental side of things, whether it be, you know, their, their, their mental health or just even their, their focus, training their mind uh, just as much as, as they're training their body in order to get an edge. Because if you want to be at the top of your game, you have to do both. My parents were either children of the 60s or just getting into their 20s. So obviously we have the incense. For me, it's pine typically because I grew up in in Portland, Oregon, and then candles always. So that's what leads me into yoga here. I set up my computer right there. We, we get on the Zoom call and do yoga as a team. It's another way of, of staying connected, but you know, making sure that we're working out and taking care of our bodies so that when we do come back to play, we'll be ready to go. Listen, a lot easier to stay in shape than to get back into shape. I try to think of where I've had injuries. I've had a, a separated shoulder on the right side here. Uh, my left side, I've had a, a shoulder dislocation and labral tear, so like opening those up uh, is paramount for me. I think something that's sometimes overlooked, uh, especially in, in, in this space, is natural light. You know, just being surrounded by the trees here makes me in some way feel like I'm, I'm back home uh, in the Pacific Northwest. So not only the natural light, but the trees and, and the greenery and just being around the elements, it's, it's very key. The true beauties of this room is that it allows me to spend more time at home. You know, it's really vital to just uh, making more time for myself, especially during the season where we're not at home too much and we're spending over half the year on the road. All right, everybody, so thanks for checking out my wellness room. I hope you guys got something from this. Stay safe, stay healthy, and now I'm gonna go get a workout in. I'll see you later.